Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to an impromptu home bargains haul. And I say impromptu because as usual, I only went in for one thing. Here's my receipt. It's not all mine in my defence. Some of it's Natalie's. We did have a subtotal at one point and it was £31 that was Natalie's. And the total altogether is 76. So mine is about, what, about 45 quid mine? Not bad for someone who only went in for insoles all the same. Excuse any mess you can see in the background, by the way. I've just realised that I should have tied up the background before I started and didn't. Here's Bella. Hi, Bella. I think you can just about see Kai. There's Kai. Molly's on this sofa, so she's slightly out of uh, out of view. And Bella's wondering who I'm talking to. Bella stood it going, nobody there, Mum. So what did I buy in Home Bargains that I didn't intend to buy? Here, let me show you what I did. Oh, should I do it in order of the receipt? I have to try and work out where mine begins then, because Natalie's is up to a certain point. Oh, mine is. Mine begins with the assorted Christmas bag, because once again, I had taken my bags out of the car, not put them back inside my bag. This is massive. This says chilling with the Nomies, and it was 99p. 99p for an absolutely enormous bag. Nothing for you in the bag, Kai. You've already had the treat that was in the bag. I bought for Tammy. I said to Tammy, do you need anything at home bargains? And she'd all get me something nice. She loves Maltesers, so I got a Maltesers cake bars. Uh, they were £1.50. You'll have to excuse me holding it arm's length to read it. One of my main jobs for after Christmas in the New Year is get my bloody glasses sorted out. On my top, on the top of my list. I bought for Freya, who is Natalie's friend's daughter, who you've seen in many videos before. You've seen Freya and you've seen Lexi. I bought Christmas presents for them and for Freya, who's very, she's um, she's 14 and she's very into fake tan and stuff like that at the moment. So I bought her a fake tan pack, a Sam Moritz Glow Away pack. That was 4 99 And there's a mitt to go with it. I don't know how much the mitt was. There's the mitt anyway. And when I find the price for that, I'll tell you that in a second. But yeah, so that's a, a tanning mitt and a tanning set there for Freya. Uh, what's next? I bought three of these soldier tins. These are for the girls to go with their presents. So there are three girls in total. You've only ever seen two of them. There are three in total. So these are little um, tins of coins. I don't think, are they sealed? Can I open it to show or not? Oh, I can. It's just Christmas coins in a soldier shaped tin. So one of those each for the girls. There's three of those. They were 99p each. Uh, for Anthony, I got the ubiquitous... Have a bloke in your house, buy him Lynx gift pack. Christmas Lynx gift pack. This is Sport Refresh. Uh, you get shower gel. And is that two sprays? Antiperspirant, body wash and body spray. And I'm not sure what the difference is between the antiperspirant. I presume one, only one stops you sweating. But that was 6 99 I think. Yeah, 6 99 I'm showing the back of it. <laughs> 6 99 for a Lynx. That's not bad for three products, is it? 6 99 And it's in a travel pouch. This is a reusable travel pouch that you can use for packing and going on holiday. I bought... Oh, that's this is the price for the applicator. The, the fake tan applicator mitt is 99p. I did get the insoles that I went in for. They're 89p a pack and I got two packs of those. Memory foam insoles. These are for my Skechers um my sketches shoes which i've had very very long time the shoes themselves are fine but the insoles have given up a long time ago so new insoles for those i got some AA batteries because it's christmas and the christmas lights will want batteries and various other things will want batteries so i bought a pack of AA batteries six batteries for where's my price 129 they're probably not particularly brilliant quality batteries are they but i don't think any are i mean they talk about duracell being the best but i don't think they last any longer really I got a Maltesers pouch because I've got a little Christmas jar. Tammy, as I said earlier, on loves Maltesers, so I've got a little Christmas jar. And I always fill a jar with either Maltesers or um, Haribo Gold Bears. So last year she had Gold Bears, this year it's Maltesers, so that's what that's for. That was, bloody hell, that was £2.45. £2.45 for Maltesers. There better be a bloody gold one in there. I've got a packet of the world's best biscuits because um, some of us are not doing very well on our diet these days. They are 99p now. They've gone up as well. i got a box of biscuits. Now, they're not for me. Is that the, have, I, have I shown you the wrong thing? Oh, here's the box of biscuits. Winter Foxes 
fabulous chocolatey winter desserts biscuit selection. These are not for me. These are for someone at work. They were three seventy nine, and they're a little thank you gift for someone at work. So three seventy nine. Don't you probably don't get very many biscuits in there. You probably really like ten or twelve biscuits for for three seventy nine. But they look nice. They had one of these fudge fun size bags. I bought these before. Dangerous thing to buy. Very dangerous thing to buy because I bloody love fudge. And I've gone through the bags quite quickly before. But you get vanilla, sea salt and sea salt coated in milk in there. And they are really very nice. I mean, I'll just... We'll try one together and then you'll be able to see how nice they are, won't you? Look, see how, see how lovely that is? It's nice, isn't it? Are you enjoying it? Not as much as me. Few moments later. 179 and you get 18 of those bars, so it's not bad really. A roll of those nice scented bin liners. I like these for my bedroom bin. They have vanilla fragrance. They have lavender. I don't like the lavender. They have rose. I don't like rose. They have lemon. I don't mind lemon, but not in a bedroom. A lemon scent in a bedroom. I think a lemon scent is a bit bathroomy, kitcheny. So I buy the vanilla ones for my bedroom bin. And I do this trick, which I think I've told you guys before, which is you leave the roll of bin liners in the bottom of the bin. You just pull it up, cover the bin, and, and when you take it out, the roll is there for next time. And they are 99p. 99p for those. They're very flimsy, but a bedroom bin that has kind of tissues and clothes tags and nothing very nothing very major in a bedroom bin, is there, you know, bits of bits of cotton and fluff and stuff. They're strong enough for a bedroom bin. I got a Chopper Chops lip balm. So I've still got fudge on my mouth. A Chopper Chops lip balm for Lexi to go part of her Christmas. And the other thing I got Lexi was this heatless curling rod. Is this one of those heatless curl things you put it over your head and wrap your hair around it and hold it in place? And it was four ninety nine, I think. Oh, it was one ninety nine. One ninety nine. Apparently, Lexi likes to curl her hair that way. So the girls are growing up, aren't they? They don't want toys anymore. They want older stuff now. I got a packet of Frosty Fancies because they are very, very nice. They were two pound. They've gone up as well, haven't they? They used to be about a quid at Christmas. Now they're two quid. I got for the dogs, which is why they are lingering. These are turkey and cranberry chomping chews. The Webox chomping chews, which we quite often buy the Webox ones. These are turkey and cranberry. Where's the rip thing to get in? Can't get in. I'm in. Oh, it smelled terrible. There you go, Kai. There you go, Molly. One for you, Bella. One for Bella. There we go. Bella's a fussy one when it comes to treats. She just looked at that in disgust. Somebody else will take it off her. She's not quick. Uh, they were 99p. And then I bought these little extra stamps to do something at work with. So they're just little... I hope they're self-inking. Self-inking Christmas stamps. There's a pack of 10 in there, I think. There we go, that one's a penguin. I'm gonna ink my receipt and show you, hang on. Yay, little penguin stamp. There it is, look, so there is a penguin, a present, a snowman head, a Christmas tree, Santa, an elf, a reindeer, an elf hat, a Christmas pudding and a gingerbread man. So they weren't very much money and I thought they'd be fun to do something at work with. So they were 99p. That was, that was well worth 99p. And also for work, a couple of little Christmas trees that just fold out like origami paper Christmas trees. I thought they'd be fun. I don't know how much they were. There was no price for them on the shelf and I bought them anyway without looking. How much were they? Oh, oh, they're 129, so that was okay. I could just about manage that. I bought Fabulosa Winter Angel Disinfectant. That's 99p. That is concentrated disinfectant. You get 440 ml for the price of 220, and apparently makes 20 litres. And I sniffed a different one in the shop that was awful. It was called Ginger Lily Heaven or something. That was oh it's terrible. But this is quite nice. The Winter Angel's quite nice. Not much left. I got. For the girl's little sister Kennedy, who you haven't seen, 
The reason you haven't seen Kennedy is because she goes to her dad's at the weekends quite often when the girls come here. She has a, she has a different dad to the girls and she goes to her dad at the weekends. So that's why you haven't seen her. I got her Barbie lip balm because apparently she's really into Barbie and some false nails. She's younger than the others. They're just children's to stick on false nails, you know. And then the last thing I think, that's, that's the only thing I'm showing you, is a sheet mask which was part of Lexi's Christmas. That was it. That's everything I bought. I spent about 45 quid on not a lot of stuff because all of the prices have gone up. <laughs> so be it. Thank you for joining me for this one. I hope you're enjoying your Christmas shopping and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.